Hey guys, Tom from Eventide here, and today I'm going to be walking you through Fission, which is the first in our line of structural effects plugins. Structural effects is a term we've coined that describes the process of breaking up a sound into its basic components, processing them separately, and then combining them back together again. In the case of Fission, we're separating transient and tonal elements of a sound, and then processing them separately and bringing them back together. So if we go ahead and get into the plugin here, you can see we have three separate sections. In the middle we have the structural split section, which is kind of the main meat and bones of this plugin. This is the part that is going to do all the splitting of the transient and tonal. Up top we have the transient effects, and in the bottom here we have tonal effects. A useful thing is when mixing drums, I might want to, you know, alter the sound of a drum a bit so that I I'm only getting maybe more of the attack and snap of the hit on the drum or just the resonant body of the drum. As you can hear I have that ring. If I want to just pull it out maybe to make the, the drum sit a little better in the mix. I just have a nice sharp snappy snare drum with a little, a lot less ring in it actually say I have a tom and I want to repitch it. Now normally when you repitch a drum you're going to stretch or alter the initial transient attack of the drum whereas here we can actually pull out the transient first, repitch the body and then combine them back together and get a very transparent drum sound from retuning it. You can hear I have a tom sound here. If I go ahead and pull out the attack first, so push this up towards transient. Get a little less decay on it, but still smooth it a bit. I can start pitching it. You can hear I can do some pretty extreme pitch shifts and still have the drum sound natural. So because we're pulling out that initial snap, none of the resonant part and tuning the resonant separately and get very natural sounding drums. So let's just go ahead and look at the structural split section. Here I have a guitar playing. You can see here we have the waveform on the right. So we have the blue transient waveform, the green tonal waveform, and behind each is the gray original input waveform. The first thing we want to do when we're opening up Vision on a sound is we're going to want to set the source type. And what this is is a coarse tuning of the internal process that splits the sound into transient and tonal. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and select guitar. And over here we have the focus control, which basically what this does is internally biases the splitting process to push more of the signal into the transient side or the tonal side. If we go all the way up to transient, we'll see here that focus actually uh, pushes the entire signal into transient. As you can see, I have transient soloed here. Go ahead and just push it all the way up. You can see that the entire signal is now in transient. If I go to the flip side, I don't hear anything because it's all in tonal. So these two controls here, smoothing and trans decay, are useful for removing artifacts that come as part of the splitting process. What smoothing does is it kind of slows the uh, speed in which a part of the signal that we classify as transient can go to being tonal or tonal to transient. Trans decay does the same process but only in the direction of transient to tonal. So you can actually hear here, as I push it up, we start hearing a little bit of decay at the end of this note because it's taking longer for the signal to go from being transient into tonal. Now what's cool is if I flip to tonal, I get an auto bowing sound. So any melodic instrument with an attack or a hammer or a pick sounds really cool because I can just completely remove that now and get a nice bowed ethereal sound out of it. So those are just a few of the examples of things I can do with Fission just using the structural split and the gain knobs. 
Uh, you could think of other scenarios where this would work as well. Maybe you want to pull fret noise out of guitar. Uh, you, you want to make a piano sound a bit softer with a little less hammer noise. Uh, maybe you have a recording of a piano that's even really ambient or there's a lot of room tone and, and reverb in it. You can pull that down and get more of the attack and sort of intricacies of the piano. So overall, Fission is, is really useful for doing uh, mixing utilitarian tasks that normally wouldn't be possible. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this and learned something new.